the sons of publishing tycoon and fraudster Robert Maxwell have revealed their father was due to meet senior figures at the Bank of England on the day he disappeared from a yacht in the Canaries. Conspiracy theories have surrounded Maxwell's death after he fell off his yacht and died in 1991. Speaking to the Sunday Times, his sons Kevin and Ian Maxwell have said they do not believe their dad took his own life and was not murdered. Kevin also told of how he had a huge row with his father on the day he died over a major meeting with the bank. They said they were, hacked off, when their father failed to help them prepare for the vital meeting, only to be told by the captain of the boat that their father was missing. Ian and Kevin Maxwell have said they don't believe their father killed himself, Image, Press Association, his naked body was later found floating in the Atlantic Ocean, and an inquest later found he died from a heart attack combined with accidental drowning. Kevin said, in 27 years I've never speculated, was he killed or did he kill himself? If I say anything about it, I think it is highly unlikely that he would have taken his own life, it wasn't in his makeup or his mentality. I don't think any murder conspiracy stands up, so for me, it is an unexplained accident and I'm content to live with that." Kevin, 59, revealed his last words with his father. It had been a massive shouting match when he failed to return from his cruise to help them get ready for a meeting with the deputy governor of the Bank of England. Following his death, it emerged that Maxwell had stolen £430 million from the Mirror Group's pension fund, Image, Daily Mirror. The meeting has been described as Maxwell's day of reckoning, as the mogul was under pressure to explain the precarious financial position of both Maxwell Communication Corporation, MCC, and Mirror Group Holdings, then publisher of the Daily Mirror. He had failed to repay two loans, one for £20 million and one for £30 million to Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs started selling off shares of both companies which they held in collateral for the loans, and the news would have been made public within days. We needed to prepare for that meeting and I was a bit hacked off that he was going to leave it until the last minute, Kevin said. Upon his death, the bank started calling in their massive loans made to Maxwell. Kevin and Ian have remained out of the public eye since they were tried and acquitted for their role in the Mirror Group pension scandal in 1996. Image, AFP, his sons were unable to prevent the collapse of his empire. It then emerged that Maxwell robbed millions from his company's pension fund, without authorization, to shore up the ailing share price. The companies filed for bankruptcy in 1992 and Kevin was declared bankrupt with debts of £400 million. The brothers, who were tried and acquitted for their roles in the £460 million fraud on Mira Group's pension fund, have spent more than two decades avoiding publicity. Now they have revealed what it was like being the sons of one of the most powerful media barons of the era as they promote their new think tank aimed at tackling Islamic extremism. Ian, 62, said the father of nine's love could be overpowering if he was pleased with you, but he was terrifying if he was not. The embrace was suffocating and so loving and everything came your way, but then if you were far away in disgrace or you had blotted your copybook, no matter what you had done you were cast out, he said.